Okay guys, the first thing I'm going to do is start off with priming my eyes and I'm using e.l.f. eyelid primer. And I'm just going to put that all over my eye from my bra bone all the way down and just blend it out. And underneath my lash line also. Next thing I'm going to do is take NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, just applying that from my bra bone all the way down with a flat brush and making sure that I blend it out. Just applying it all over. The reason you have to make sure that it's blended out well because you don't want any creases in your eyeshadow. Now I'm taking Wet n Wild's palette in Petal Pusher and I'm taking that pink shimmery bra bone color and I'm applying that underneath my bra bone. And I'm just going to blend that color out. Just apply as much as you need. I had to apply it again. Now I'm going into Sugar Pills palette. And I'm using the color Dolly Pop, which is like a neon pink color. And I'm just going to be applying that right underneath that bra bone color. And I'm just going to be blending it back and forth in a windshield wiper motion. Just keep blending it until it's blending into that bra bone highlight color. And as you can see, I'm blending it all the way to my nose. I'm going back into that Petal Pusher palette and I'm taking a darker purple color and I'm just going to be applying that to my crease and blending it upwards into that pink Dolly Pop color. The reason I'm applying this color is because I just want it to have a gradient effect. And just keep applying it you get it like you want it. Um, now I'm taking a gel liner by Ruby Kisses and I'm just going to be applying that to my eyelid because I'm just using this as a base for my black eyeshadow. And the line doesn't have to be perfect um, because you're going to blend that out anyway. I'm going to take a contour brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to be blending that color out, blending that black color into the purple color, creating a smoky eye. Now I'm taking that color from the Petal Portia palette, and it's a black, kind of grayish black color with silver glitters in it. And I'm just going to be packing that on my lid on top of the black gel liner. I'm going to be reapplying that purple to blend that color out. That purple is going to be blending in with the black because once again you don't want any harsh lines. You want everything to be smooth and like a gradient effect going one color going into the next color. I'm just going to be reapplying the colors because as you blend sometimes you lose color. So I'm just going to be reapplying color where I need it. Now I'm taking um, a Wet n Wild glitter and I paid like three bucks for this glitter. It's really pretty. It's called Confetti. And this is where I messed up at. I tried to apply the glitter by itself because I had forgot that I applied black shadow on top of the base because the glitter would have stuck to the base but since I applied a black shadow on I needed a sticky base to apply the glitter to so I'm using LA Splash Sealer. And I'm going to put that all over my lid first. And then I'm going to go back into the glitter and apply the glitter. Now, as you can see, it's sticking much, much better because it has a base to stick to. And I'm just applying the glitter all over my lid. Like so. Now I'm going to 
Now I'm going into this NYX eyeshadow base and I'm using the NYX base in white. And I'm going to be lining that along my bottom lash line. I'm using this as a base for the blue eyeshadow I'm going to be applying. And the reason that I'm using it as a base is so that the blue can be really vibrant. Now I'm using Max Pigment in Nocturnal, which is like a purple shimmery color. I'm so clumsy. <laughs> But yeah, I'm taking that color on a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm going to be applying that color to my tear duct area. I'm just using that purple shimmery color for a highlight. And make sure that you blend that color out. Blend it in. palette once again and I'm using after party which is a pretty blue color and I'm going to be applying that all along my bottom lash line and I'm going to be extending it up to make a wing I'm actually making a wing in the inner corner of my eye also like so. Now I'm going to be getting a Wet n Wild white eyeliner pencil and I'm going to be lining my waterline with it. And eyeliner tends to smudge so what I'm going to do is take a flat brush and I'm going to take that white color from Sugar Pills palette Either it's called taco or taco, um, one of the other. But I'm going to be taking that color and I'm going to be applying that to my waterline to set that eyeliner so that it doesn't smudge and it lasts all day when he does that. I just so cannot talk right now. I need to be in the bed. But now I'm taking a NYX, I mean, not NYX. The NYC eyeliner, and I'm just creating a cat eye along my top lash line. Now I'm taking my LA Colors Concealer and I'm going to highlight the high points of my face down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, underneath my eyes, my cupid's bow, and also my chin. Oh yeah, my cheekbones also. What that does is it brings out that contour that you're going to be applying later. But I'm just taking my fingers and I'm blending that concealer out. And now I'm about to contour my face using Boobies Kisses powder in the color Ebony. And I'm just going to be applying that to my jawline, my jawline area and my temples down the bridge of my nose. And it's very important whenever you contour to make sure it isn't so harsh because you don't want to look so fake. So make sure that you blend those colors out very well as you can see I'm doing. Now I'm just taking the LA Colors powder in medium and I'm setting everywhere that I put that concealer, I'm setting it. And I'm just sweeping off the excess powder. Now I'm taking the Wet n Wild blush in the color Heather's. Is it Heather Silk? Yes, Heather Silk. And I'm just applying that to my cheekbone area. I think this is my favorite wet and wild color. It's like a pink, pinky soft pink color.
Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is applying this. It's a shimmery shimmer is the name of it. It's by Wet n Wild also, and it's a soft pearl with a gold undertone in it. And I'm using that for a highlight. It's actually really, really pretty as a highlight. You can see the difference on my cheeks when I apply it. Um, for my lips, I'm using Wet n Wild. No, I'm sorry, not Wet n Wild, but I'm using Ruby Kisses lipstick in the color Magenta. And it's showing us on camera as being very, very blue, but it's not. It's actually a really pretty pink with a blue undertone. And on top of that, I'm applying LA Colors Lip Gloss in the color Orchid. Now I'm fixing my wig back. <laughs> but this is the finished look. I'm going to give you a close up. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And learned something from this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching you guys. Stay tuned for the pictures. See you later.